Always start by reading the question. This one is about enthalpies of reaction, which we write as delta H of reaction. It asks us to determine the enthalpy of reaction for the conversion of dimethyl ether to its structural isomer ethanol. To do this, it tells us that we'll need to use the average bond energies given in the table. Then, using the enthalpy of reaction we calculated, we need to determine which is the more stable isomer. Let's make a plan. We know that the delta H of reaction is equal to the sum of the energies of the bonds that were broken, minus the sum of the energies of the bonds being formed. So we'll need to pull out the table of bond energies as a reference. Let's start with bonds that must be broken. If we take a closer look at dimethyl ether, we see that a carbon-oxygen bond and a carbon-hydrogen bond must be broken. The severed hydrogen atom and methyl group then need to switch places. The bonds formed are an oxygen-hydrogen bond and a carbon-carbon bond to give ethanol. So all we have to do is find those values on the table and use them to calculate the delta H of reaction. Let's solve the problem. A carbon-hydrogen bond has an energy of 413 kilojoules per mole. A carbon-oxygen bond has an energy of 358 kilojoules per mole. A carbon-carbon bond is 348 kilojoules per mole. And an oxygen-hydrogen bond is 467 kilojoules per mole. So sum up all the bonds broken and sum up all the bonds formed. Then subtract the total energy of the bonds that were formed from the total energy of the bonds that were broken. This gives us a negative enthalpy value of 44 kilojoules per mole. Since the enthalpy is negative, we know that the reaction was exothermic and therefore ethanol is the more stable isomer. Check that you've done the subtraction the right way around, energy of bonds broken minus energy of bonds formed, and that you answered the whole question. And you're done.